I have been trying really hard to get this video done. Um, but I took on a cleaning project that then, you know, took over my whole life. So I am trying this again. Uh, I recently made these two journals. Um, one is taller than the other by a little bit. And they measure... Uh, the tall one is eight and a half by five and three quarters with a spine that's about one and three quarters. And the small one is seven and three quarters by five and a half ish by uh, an inch and a half. So that's how big they are. Um, these are two of my faux metal book plates and I used, I cut up a, a dyed tag so you can um, write whatever you'd like on here. The other side is pretty black. But you could also trace this onto a piece of paper if you don't want this for your um, card inside. And then the other one is the same way. And these are brads so if you have a hard time getting this card in and out you can just t move this up a little bit because nothing is really glued down or secured except for the brads um, you can just pull this up a little bit and that'll slide right up okay um, these are a couple of my um, skinny dangles I call them that because they I make them kind of sparse and they go well with such a busy cover um, the covers are made out of, this is wrapping paper, and uh, I just folded the whole thing over. So we'll start with the small one. They're both pretty much the same but different. Um, I included a pocket right here, and I put some nice pieces of ephemera in there, uh, including coloring pages. I wanted this book to be inspiring and to be interesting and to be uh, to promote creativity. So I included some houseplant cards that I did not alter because um, these are very interesting. You know, some of them are gardening cards, some of them are houseplant cards, um, but these are very interesting if you want to start your own plants. I enjoy those types of things. Um, I have some map pieces from National Geographic Maps. Um, this is a book, an a animal book. This is the page about fish. Uh, this is an old tool catalog. This is Plains um, National Geographic page. Look at this little dude. Some dyed paper that I did. This came from a children's poem and music book. And there's some little uh, pieces of, of poetry and quotey things on them. Uh, connect the dots. House plan page. I put a little pocket here. There's nothing in it, but just a little little something to hide things. Uh, this is a cookbook page, dyed music paper, dyed. This is a teacher's uh, activity book that I had dyed the pages of. A plant book, some of my smush paper. Uh, I included pockets. These. This is one of my twofers. And again, another house. This is a tree uh, tree card, another journaling card that I covered the back of. And then this is one of my uh, altered uh, index cards. So you can write on that. And I, I did this. It's a piece from a, a children's book. And this one too is also altered those back in here. Dictionary, uh, teacher's roster paper, dictionary, smush, plants, activity book, music, cookbook, that children's book, house plans, connect the dots, that music book, 
dyed paper. Uh, here is an envelope. Ooh, look at that. A piece of scrap. <laughs> um, here's an envelope. I stuffed it with some yummies. Um, you know, I took these pictures and I turned them into journaling cards and another one of my journaling cards that I made. So stuff that back. And then this has a little closure. You just tuck that right in to the license plate with one of my little flaggy uh, paper clips. This is on a magazine page. The planes. Uh, this is a greeting card, but I also made it a pocket right here. So there you go. Fish map. Um, this is a plant card, a, a page about plants with some poetry on the back. I'm sorry, it's not about plants. It's a pretty picture of lilies with quotes on the back. Okay. National Geographic map. This is the second signature. There's three of them. Uh, this comes from like a almanac style uh, book. This is about fishies. Look at the little dudes. Roster. Plants. Uh, dictionary paper. Map. Dyed paper. This is green. You can't really see it. It's very a uh, mild colored green. Uh, some deer type things are staring at you. Uh, part of that tool catalog. This is about uh, Victorian style dress. A book about that. Music paper from that kid's music book. This came from a kid's book that is like really crazy uh, colors and designs. I made a cluster as one of my cluster tags, so I left the little ropies. And I also turned it into a tuck and just put some cards and tags in that. I didn't stuff it too much because I like to make sure that you have room to put your own goodies in, that you collect from your days, um, connect the dots, that kid's book, that kid's music book, Victorian dress, catalog, magazine, green, map, dictionary, plant page, roster, fishy wishies, that almanac book, map. This is the last signature, the third one. Um, I included another. Uh, this is about garden flowers, another flower card, uh, journaling card. Two of my homemade journaling cards with one of my index cards and a little tag. So stick those back in my little double pocket and I include these little labels on some of my cards. I have the little label and on some of my pockets so that you can label it if you're going to do something different, you know, with that pocket. Uh, fish book, dictionary page, pink page, um, music book from that kid's music book, connect the dots. Here is a little this is a little corner uh, cluster tag I made. I didn't put anything in there. Plant book. Smooshy wooshy paper. Roster paper. That's green. Dictionary paper. House plans. Uh, dyed music paper. It's got a purple look to it. I know you can't really tell. Uh, if I change my light, maybe you can. Or it might just saturate it. It might just over brighten it. I don't know. Uh, roster paper. This is from a plant book. Uh, this is about its characteristics. Dictionary. Smush. Dictionary. Little pocket. A couple little tags in there. Um, I use jute on most of them. This is a dyed jute. This is a natural jute. Most of my tags are juted, house plans, dictionary, roster paper. Uh, this is an airmail envelope. I just put a label on it, and this part here was still very sticky, so I put a piece of washi tape. And you can close this if you'd like. I, I chose to have it open so I can have the little tag sticking out. Um, and in it, I included, you know, these black and white picture journaling cards that I made. This is a little piece of stationery. Lavish yourself with love. 
is what it says. And my little tag. So those go in there. And that's sticking out with another one of my little flaggies. Plant page. This is that uh, roster paper. One of my, uh, this was actually from Happy Mail, this little paper clip. I've had it for a long time. Another piece of stationery paper choose your way it is your journey so you know i like the quotes to help you to help kickstart whatever you're about to do whatever you're about to embark on whatever writing or art project you're going to start in here i like to give you a little boost now and then where i can i know that's helpful to me connect the dots kids music book uh pink dyed paper dictionary page fishies map and this is a belly band in the back made from um, scrapbook paper on top of manila folder. So it's, it's you know, like rugged cardstock. And that's the end of that book. So there's that one. Um, I laced all the edges of these pages. The bigger book, I also put page tabs. I didn't put page tabs in the smaller book. And the reason for that is because you can't see them. <laughs> With the lace, you can't see them. So I was like, why do it again? Because the lace was an afterthought. I had already started tabbing the pages. I actually put the tabs on them before I sewed the signatures in. So mm -hmm. kind of null and void. Um, again, I put a pocket on the inside. And uh, this, this comes from that children's book, The Way to Johnny Crow's Garden. And I included one of my photo uh, journaling cards. These aren't real photographs. They are real photographs, but they come from um, a magazine or a book. And I like to do that. I like to create those into, turn those into journaling cards. Roster paper, National Geographic page. I included another coloring card. This comes from a Vera Bradley uh, coloring book. And uh, there's one in the other one too, in the beginning of the book. So I kind of just had that sticking in there because I put glue down the side. Let me see. Maybe if I put it there, it won't be so. And one of my journaling cards. That's black paper uh, dyed by Amy, who is Dark Woods Sanctuary on Etsy and uh, on Facebook also. Kids book, uh, fish book, that doodly crazy acid tripping kids book. Another Amy paper. I do have some Amy paper scattered throughout here too, uh, the other one too. Or maybe I don't. Yes, I do. I do. Um, fish book. Oh, that kid's book there. I'm sorry if you can hear the TV in the background with the sirens. Uh, National Geographic map. Another dyed paper from Amy. A smush paper. Um, that tool catalog. That's the page selling locks. Dictionary page. I included the greeting card in here too. It's blank on the inside. Two little tags. Uh, this is one of my journaling cards. And a little tag here. Plant book. Connect the dots. This is one of my side pockets. I altered some filing cards that go into a recipe box or something similar. And uh, I turned them into journaling cards. You can use them for what, whatever you like. Uh, if you want to use it as a pocket or a tuck somewhere, that would be very nice. Um, just a little printed thing, printable. Doily. Yeah, doily. I had no clue. I had all these rectangular doilies, and I dyed them, and I'm like, what can I use them in? Because most of them are, you know, long, so I just cut them all up. Um, gardening page. This is garden flowers. This is a blueprint that a piece of a blueprint that is uh, turned into a journaling space and one of my cluster tags. Pink dyed paper. Doily. Connect the dots. Flower paper. A dictionary page. Tool book. Another air mail envelope um, with one of my, I made this little um, 
you know, paper clip. Little tag with hearts on it. And uh, this actually came from a Reader's Digest book. I cut it, I cut it out and turned it into a journaling space. And one of my made, handmade cards. So there's that. People are coming downstairs, so I might get noisy for a second. That's on my swoosh paper, Amy paper, little tab there. Um, map, music, uh, poems, kids' book paper, fish, dyed purple, Amy paper, purple, Amy paper, uh, fish page. Hold on. Journaling cards, another book from that. Um, okay. I'm making a video. See ya. Journaling cards. Um, black dyed paper. National Geographic with these little guys. And then on this side, Fox. And a teacher's roster paper. So that's the first signature. This one also has three signatures. So this is a Victorian dress. Black paper. Roster paper. Tool page. Um, side pockets. No, I'm making a video. Journaling cards that I put in here. Uh, you know, my little... Oh, I, I made this a pocket too. So you got that. You got this. Like, I forget. I forget which ones I made into pockets. Stationary paper. Yep, when I'm done. Stationary paper. And a little rooster. So there's that. Plant paper. Teal paper. Pink paper. Um, map page with ducks. Dictionary page. This is a little uh, journaling spot I made in this one. And this is a Victorian dress page. Purple paper. Connect the dots. Cookbook page, dictionary page. This comes from that almanac book. This is another National Geographic page with that pretty picture there. This is an envelope. I put a tab on this side so you know that you can add things in there. This is green. You can't really tell, but I promise it's a light green. Um, National Geographic maps, green, other side. National Geographic. Uh, almanac, dictionary, envelope with, uh, I included a cluster in this one. This is a little cluster. You can put it in here wherever you'd like or use it however you want. A little piece of ephemera, a uh, receipt paper, and another plant card for exotic house plants. And this envelope also closes with this little license plate here. Okay, it's raised. I glued something under it so it's raised. This is one of my little flaggies. Connect the dots. It's on the hope chest. Purple. Um, this is, uh, you know, Victorian dress. Dictionary paper. National Geographic map. This is a cluster. You can put whatever you'd like in there. On pink paper. This is teal paper. Plants. Tools. Roster paper, black paper, Victorian style, and that's the end of the second signature. So the last signature, we have black with a cute little floral tab there. Um, this I just glued on. It's just glued there, it's just paper, pink, connect the dots, house plans, a cluster that I included these cute little um, painting style pictures in. I thought those were cool. I turned them into journaling cards. Those are yours. On this, this one, this is that teacher activity page. This is the plant book. This is that characteristics page. Green roster paper, smush paper, teal paper, uh, tools. This is an Amy dyed coffee filter. That it, it's really cool. It's really it feels cool. It looks cool. It's really neat. It's like tie-dye looking. 
this is um, part of that. This is actually a calendar. It was a teacher's calendar book that I dyed, tea dyed, dictionary, um, purple, music paper. That's from that kid's book uh, recipe. You have creamy tapioca right here. And then on this side, uh, this just tips for a buffet. Another one of those little journaling spaces. I had some of these papers as scraps, so I uh, rounded the corners and put them in here. Purple music paper, National Geographic, fish. This is about albacore. If you're a tuna person like me, young. Red salmon, California flying fish. Those things are cool. And opa, map, purple paper, gingerbread with creamy maple topping. So you have that recipe for you. And meatloaf with tomato sauce. You have most of that recipe. It kind of goes over. Oh no, that's something different. Creamy maple topping there. That's cool. That kid's book. Purple paper. Dictionary paper. There's that calendar style paper. That coffee filter. Tools with a cluster with a plant card in it. This is for outdoor trees. Teal, smush, um, this is just a quote, I just glued that in there. Green paper, characteristics paper, teacher's uh, activity book, house plans, connect the dots, pink paper, black paper. Um, this is another one of those floral cards with the quotes on the back. Um, one of my journaling cards and uh, receipt paper belly band right here and each the book is dictionary paper and that's the end of that one so these are going to be listed in my Etsy store um, before the weekend is over I've got to get some good lighting and some good pictures so that you can see them um, my Etsy information is down below and uh, I really hope that these go to a good home and I hope that whoever gets them enjoys them and enjoys the little things I put in here to make it a little more interactive like the coloring pages and the plant pages and the recipes and the weird little things that you can pick up from a junk journal. Um, you've got writing space in both of them, you have art space in both of them, and you have junky uh, book page type things that um, you can turn into whatever. So thank you for sticking around for this whole 23 minutes and uh, I can't wait to see you again. Ta-ta for now.